and we're back and we're prepping again now we're prepping for sanding isn't that great so what would the day on Gilda be without some sanding and there was nothing quick about it was prep saw and a scrubbing pad and elbow grease Hi there! In this episode of Building Vilda, we are going to attack the interior of our sailboat. That's because we are now focusing on bringing the rooms closer to paint-ready condition. That means making sure we have paint inside the cupboards and lockers, then final sanding with 240 grit, marking any imperfections, another round of spot filling followed by sanding again, then cleaning and wiping and masking the lockers for spray painting the top coat. So the way we are planning to do this is by focusing on certain rooms first. We will start with the starboard forward head, then the port forward wardrobe and then the aft cabin on the starboard side. This will allow us to be working on rooms that are away from each other. When spray painting, we can move some fans around for more ventilation, we can avoid damaging the fresh paint in narrow spaces and hopefully we can do a good job. So, today I have returned to a fairly white-ish uh, boat. This primer isn't particularly white. It's off-white, meaning slightly tobacco-colored, uh, yellowish. But the next step is to continue on the inside of the lockers. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know if, how, how visible it is in, in, in the camera here. I'm guessing visible. <laughs> we haven't done much to these lockers, uh, any of them. They, we have sanded them down, we have painted them with the uh, high build primer, but they are full of imperfections and uh, we're leaving them that way, we're making them white. So, from high build primer to top coat. And uh, before we can start with that, this clearly needs a bit of yeah, clean up. So vacuum, wipe down, paint. And my plan is, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but to do, to finish the whole port side here, uh, that Roxana did most of already, and then just continue, keep going. Wait, didn't we all hear that well? So vacuum, wipe down, paint. He just couldn't help it, he had to do some sanding first, of course! Whenever we are working on these lockers, I am tempted to think and say they are so big. But why do I have the feeling that soon I'll be complaining about not having enough storage space?
So I'll do the starboard side. Focus first on uh, the spaces in the corners. The reason for that is if I can get the four spaces in the corners ready for paint, Chris can come here, paint those four rooms, and without getting completely gassed and and with uh, without getting like, paint all over the place, uh, we can leave those four rooms to dry, and then go to the next compartment, which will be the two bedrooms. And then there's no way about it. These these three compartments, the galley. Salon and whatever that will be on the port side uh, are connected. So, so this is going to be one whole space to spray. Um, but that's the plan. So, three big sp spray rounds, and before that, we finish each section. So, I'm into the cupboards now, and I'll do all of them before I start finishing a room for for. Uh, for paint, simply to reduce the amount of cleaning I'm doing, because uh, if I start sanding anywhere, <laughs> there's going to be more cleanup, and we'll avoid that. Another day of sanding. So, what would a day on Vilda be without some sanding? I've uh, set up here a few different discs and a soft interface pad and my goal for the day is to make at least three rooms ready for paint. So start with those three and hope to get it good to 240 grit and 240 grit is good enough for spraying the paint we intend to spray with a slight satin finish. It doesn't look very satin to me. We've been rolling in, in all the lockers. But yeah, that's what I've been told. So we'll see. <laughs> anyway, 240 grit and get everything. This has really already been sanded, so so all I need to concentrate on here is the doorway and I have one more go at the corners and we painted the floor uh, as well so a quick round on on the floor not so much the floor as where the floor hits the walls So today didn't quite work out as I had planned. The plan was to do a quick 240 sand of uh, this uh, forward, um, I don't know what to call it, but we'll probably use it as a dressing room or uh, wardrobe. The plan was quick 240 sand and there was nothing quick about it. Uh, this film I mentioned previously, I thought had magically disappeared. It had not. Uh, so I went into the um, uh, into the interior of the boat and started sanding uh, our primer. And oh, it's not any fun. Uh, the primer on the inside of the boat has set, but because of probably a lack of ventilation, there's this. Uh, tacky surface to it, uh, which is annoying, and uh, it clogs up all the papers. Uh, so you go through like 50 papers <laughs> to, to get uh, w one or two rooms uh, done. I had to figure out how to get rid of this film before actually getting to sanding. So that took some trying and a lot of a lot of uh, 
sanding discs. This is what they look like. Yeah. This is one of the good ones with the uh, uh, prepsol and uh, <laughs> sanding. So that worked. It worked, but but a waste of a lot of material, right? What I finally found did work was prepsol and a scrubbing pad and elbow grease. So that's what I had to do. Basically wash off all the surfaces here uh, with this and a lot of rubbing. And then, uh, then I could sand. So this is now sanding like it should. And actually now it's sanded all the way. I'm not doing any more. This is sanded 240 and we'll spray this and we'll see how it looks. It's gonna look okay. Uh, it'll look great actually, I'm sure. But no fun at all. And I'm probably covered in dust. Uh, yeah, so all that remains now is the floor joint. That should be a quick job. like the rest of the sandy. <laughs> nah, nah, the floor couldn't possibly go wrong. <laughs> How's it going? It's okay, but this dust is so fine and it doesn't And there's so much of it. Yeah. yeah it's just footprints impregnated in the paint and they yeah. don't come off even though I tried. And you see the, the gray here? It's overspray. Is overspray. Yeah. So that's not coming off. No, no, I no. know. But some of it was dust. Yeah. But good yeah. news is Rox's foot is much better. Yeah. And we're back and we're prepping again. Now we're prepping for sanding. Isn't that great? <laughs> nah. We'll clean up here so that we can find the little imperfections, fill them, and uh, then uh, we're good to paint again. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too long. And then we actually have the entire exterior painted. On the inside, there's more filling and sanding going on. Lots of fun. For some reason this last room needed a bit more affection and more spot feeling. But here we are pushing more to get it done.
Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this episode, remember to give us a like and leave a comment. We'll be happy to reply. See you next Sunday!